Let's take a look at those temperatures for today. Still pretty hot out there. Bangor at 78 degrees for our high today. Bar Harbor got to 75. Rockland at 72. Lots of mid to upper 70s extending to the southwestern portion of the state. We can see Augusta got up to 78 degrees today. North of us, though, Millinocket, they got into those low 80s, and so did Holton and Presque Isle up north with highs of 81 degrees today. So a fairly warm day for us today. Going into tonight, it's going to stay fairly warm as well. Uh, much of the uh, state of Maine is going to see lows right around 60 degrees. We will in Bangor as well. Some areas in those upper 50s. We can see Deer Isle at 59, also uh, Monson as well, and over to the west some temperatures in those mid 50s, so a little bit cooler off to the west. And as we continue on into tomorrow, we'll see uh, temperatures just like today, right around 79 degrees here in Bangor, probably getting into those low 80s, so a little bit warmer with lots of sunshine. And we can see areas in the upper 70s as well, all the way extending to the north part of the state, but much cooler by the coast. We see Deer Isle around 68 degrees today, or, or for tomorrow, and then with some sunshine, probably getting into to those low 70s. Taking a look at that temperature trend, we are going to cool off a little bit after we get some uh, rain coming in Wednesday. It'll bring those highs only to 73, sticking into Thursday as well. 74 on Friday, 71 on Saturday, so lots of low to mid 70s. And then once we get into Sunday, high of 75 degrees. So temperatures aren't going to change too much throughout the week after we have that front come through Wednesday. But humidity right now, nothing too bad. But we did just have that low pressure system in the area making it a little bit muggy, and that's going to stick around until Wednesday in the Thursday afternoon. Once that front makes its way through, uh Dew points are going to be back near those low 50s, so much more comfortable humidity by then. It'll definitely rise though once we get into the weekend again with temperatures back in the mid 70s. All right, take a look at the radar from afar. We dealt with some isolated showers and thunderstorms across the state today. Most of them stayed to the northwestern side of the state and, and, and the western side as well. Those are now dying off as we can see. We are going to be in the clear for the rest of the night tonight, so no rain to deal with overnight. But as we take a look though, for the next few days we will be in the clear. We'll have some cloud cover in the area as a new front is approaching by Wednesday early morning. North uh, part of the state will be seeing some showers and possibly some thunderstorms right around 6 a.m. And as we continue on throughout the day, right around noon is when we will have some showers and thunderstorms make their way into the Bangor area. So expect some rain throughout the day Wednesday, but then we'll be in the clear after those, uh, you know, afternoon hours going into the evening, just a few clouds in the sky and the rain should be out of our way. Taking a look into tonight, low of 60 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and we'll have some areas of dense fog out there as well, so be careful driving throughout the night tonight. Winds are going to stay pretty calm. For tomorrow, a high of 81 degrees with lots of sunshine, mostly sunny skies. Winds from the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Taking a look at your extended forecast, looks like we have some more storms in the uh, in the forecast by Wednesday, and then we will have some beautiful days Thursday and the Friday before another front approaches by Saturday with some thunderstorms back and highs in the low 70s. Beth?